Hand-drawn animation was used for every single animated movie before Toy Story, which was released on November 19, 1995. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, released on December 21, 1937, was the first ever 2D animated feature. Adjusted for inflation, the film made $418 million globally and had an extremely small budget of only $1.49 million. Snow White's success was not only the launching pad for Disney to establish themselves as a respectful movie studio that were able to legitimately compete with other movies at the box office. Snow's success also inspired many other established movie studios such as MGM and Warner Brothers to open their own animation divisions. Since Snow White, Disney were on a winning streak with hit after hit for a long period of time, but after Jungle Book, the last film that Walt worked on before he sadly passed away, the Walt Disney Company entered what was later known as their Dark Age. During this period of time, most of their films, including The Black Cauldron, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh and The Great Mouse Detective, were either only turning in a slight profit or were losing money. Once Michael Eisner took over as CEO of Disney in 1984, one of his main goals was to improve Disney's film division, to the point that every one of their animated films from 1989, starting from The Little Mermaid to 1999, would be financially successful. This was when Disney's most beloved and financially successful movies were released, including The Lion King, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast and many more, which are now known as their Renaissance movies. Meanwhile, Pixar were getting ready to release their first feature film in 1995, titled Toy Story, which was to be the first ever fully computer animated film. Disney managed to strike a six-picture deal with Pixar, which would eventually lead to Disney outright buying Pixar in 2006. But during this time, Pixar under the control of John Lasseter were the kings of animation, managing to create masterpiece after masterpiece, whilst also managing to make huge profits with each one of their films. On the other side of things, most of Disney's early 2000s traditionally animated films, such as Treasure Planet and Atlantis, were flopping. Disney, in an attempt to avoid entering a second dark age, decided to transition into a studio that would focus on producing computer animated features just like Pixar. During this time, other major animation studios were starting to emerge, including DreamWorks and Sony Pictures Animation. The only problem was that Disney's first computer animated features, including Chicken Little, Home on the Range and Meet the Robinsons, were barely making any money and weren't exactly well received by either critics or audiences. In April of 2006, Disney hired John Lasseter to become Chief Creative Officer at Walt Disney Animation, whilst also carrying on running Pixar. To Lasseter's credit, he steered the Walt Disney Company in the right direction, to the point that Disney were once again a major competing animation studio. Tangled, Big Hero 6, Zootopia, Moana and Frozen were all huge successes, but their last 2D animated films Princess and the Frog and Winnie the Pooh weren't making anywhere near the same money as Disney's CG animated films, so Disney now exclusively produced CG animated features. As a 2000s kid, I've grown up with CG animated movies and prefer them to hand-drawn 2D animated films. Lately though, there has been so much demand for Disney to go back to their roots and start creating 2D animated movies once again, but I can't see Disney doing this at least for the foreseeable future, as computer animation has become the new norm and are making Disney around $1 billion a picture. Nowadays, it's extremely rare to find a newly released 2D animated movie from a major studio, but that's not to say that they don't exist, as Claws, for example, is a phenomenal traditionally hand-drawn 2D animated Netflix movie, which sadly went largely unnoticed. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you'd like to see 2D animation make a comeback in the comment section below.